All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So we are joined by Alexis, but Alexis' mic is kind of eh right now, so she's going to stay silent, which is fine. Uh, it's kind of weird. It's, it's kind of different than Tiago, because usually Tiago can't hear me. Uh, Alexis is actually here. She's listening to me, but uh, yeah, she's not going to speak in this video, which is fine, which is fine. So uh, I also moved my uh, Skype and set out for my screen. So she can actually type on Skype and I can see what she's typing, but you guys won't see it. And you also won't hear the Skype noise. It's secondary audio. I'll go ahead and just delete that track in editing. So you won't hear that. But uh, hopefully this tag duel goes well. So uh, she is using her Care Bear from Hell deck, which I think is Fluffles combined with BA. So uh, this should be interesting. <laughs> I mean, BAs are powerful, Fluffles can be very powerful, especially when you get the bear, the wing, the, the vendor, and all that, and these guys are level threes, and they're all fiends and stuff like that. Eh, I mean, that was okay. I mean, you got Manly, but the, knowing the poly and the alert is not the greatest. And uh, we're using normal pendulum, which is pretty powerful as well, so maybe we can get some uh, Ws. Oh, not a terrible intro play. Got the Skarm in the graveyard, so getting the uh, search, that tour guide search is nice as well. Dante... Uh, should be limited to one. That's as simple as that. <laughs> uh, we're still just waiting on that ban list. Maybe sometime this week? Maybe next week? I mean, we never know. We just got that definitive end date that we we missed so much. <laughs> I wish Kanami had just one of these lists would just put a definitive end date. Like, yep, we know when it's gonna end. Like, at least tricking OCG is always the V jump, so. But here, we're just kind of just sitting here like, maybe Konami? Like, for all we know, they're not even going to do a list. Maybe they'll just wait until after Worlds. Maybe, worlds. maybe they'll wait for the November list. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, like this. Hopefully, that list comes out soon. Because <laughs> there are so many things that need to be cleaned out this game. This game. <laughs> Rogue Cheese? 301? Okay. I have nothing. Wow. Wow, rip. Yeah, looks like it. I mean, I mean, you got a monster and some background. That's not terrible. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and play my Rota, get my uh, my Flash Knight, top tier shit. That would a hey, it was in the deck that one uh, that one. Uh, what am I trying to say? The deck that one Nats in Europe. So we're all not too terrible. So. I can play him at my pendulum scale, play him at my pendulum scale. I'm not sure if I want to mill. Play that, play that. I think I'm just gonna pendulum summon one. One. Then get a search, destroy a monster, and then I get to pop a card. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna overextend. I kinda wanna keep you. I only have freaking Maybe two. Yeah. We'll do two. So I'm in you two. Not sure if I want to go all out. Yeah, first roll pendulum never overextends. So that's why I kind of, kind of held off. I didn't know if he was gonna have the strike. Cause if I could have summoned my whole entire hand, but like, so of course I'll go ahead and get my search. Cause I killed your monster straight, and I'm gonna get me a lower scale. Just in case he cracks my scales, I'll still have shit. My for wing. All right. Attack with Dante. Go defense. I'm not gonna mill. Like, I know I could get an attack boost and that'd be great and all, but I don't want to mill anything in my deck. I'd rather keep everything I have. And then Dragon's Draconia, because I attacked you directly, I pop one of your set cards, which is pretty good. Ah, pop that soul charge. You don't need it. You don't need it. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Yeah, why your pro does do that. I think that pro too. That was, that was a pretty good play. That was a pretty good opening play for me. Got my pendulum scales back. Oh yeah. That pro actually naturally puts us at a 16k, but we're only at 8,000. Let's notice that. Yeah, we should probably be at 16k just to make the duels more efficient, really. Because 8,000 for tag is really not much. But yeah, we'll do that after this one. Kind of just slap the crap out of them. <laughs> I mean, they, you guys voted for normal pendulum. Normal pendulum, they, they do have some power. Like, this guy's pretty good to pop a card. This guy's pretty good to search. This guy gives you pierce. Like, 
I guess my pendulum effects do make up for the fact that I have no monster effects. I'm still a monster, and I am the pendulum mechanic, so that's nice. So, you kill me, I'm just gonna go right back to the extra deck. Mmm, something. something. Beast Warrior related, actually. Like, is Senju with Tensu? Oh, it's Senju. Interesting, okay. Senju with Tensu. Which is like, don't you normally get multiple normal summons with Senju's anyway? So it's like, okay. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't really paying attention. So he did say it was the Senju. Okay, okay. Okay. So you send you. Card of Demise you send you? <laughs> Why, of course. <laughs> you can't play you send you without Card of Demise. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Here we go. Let's speak to send you summons. Oh, summon him. Okay. Yep. There goes Dante. And no Fiendish Rhino, because I don't believe I have any Fiends in my deck, so rip that Rhino. <laughs> Nor would I really want to send a monster. Ooh, it actually summons the magia, whatever. There's no summons, but someone sends you from your deck. In phase, return to your hand. And are you once per turn? I don't believe you're once per turn. No? Yeah. Nope, it's not once per turn. That's back in my hand. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Interesting, interesting Senju place. Hopefully, like, maybe you have, like, a mirror force or something to protect yourself, because he's going all... Well, you're going to stay, right? Yeah, you're going to stay. You're going back? Yeah, and you're going back. That was pretty good. Yeah, you don't really see people play this guy in Senju. The Tensu, I mean, it worked. Gave him that additional normal summon that I attribute summon to actually summon, uh... Is it Maggot? Mag Magot? It's like Maggot, but I'm not sure. Maybe Magot. Yep. Go ahead and take that 36, that's fine. Mom is home. I'm recording. <laughs> I know, I know. You don't tell me. I'm, I know, I'm busy. I'm busy. I had to. I'm, I had to I'm joined by a tag partner and doing it at their convenience. So I was like, you know what? She was ready to tag. Let's go ahead and get it over with. <laughs> your credit card. I'll pay it. What? When, 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 does, when does the bank close? Like, it's 3 o'clock. Nah, we'll be done by then. We'll be done by then. Alright. <laughs> you know what? There's nothing convenient to throw at you. <laughs> wow, what? He timed out? Okay. What time is it? It's 1.30. Because <laughs> I'm on the Pacific side. Code? I'm on, yeah. I'm Pacific. Eastern. Alright, we'll get another door. We're right back. Alright, got another door. 16,000 this time, so... If they use Cheating Leap, then rip. <laughs> I know this video is going to be real interesting. It's like I'm talking to myself. Like, <laughs> I said, I can see what I like to say, but you guys can't, so... Ooh, the tour guide though. Oh, their first turn Dante. I'm actually wondering what they're gonna do to Burning Abyss, because I mean they could just hit Dante, but I think they'll probably take a little bit more. Like I think they'll probably just copy a Hosey Jeans to do Skarm too. The Skarm, Skarm. Skarm's powerful too. I think both both Dante and Skarm. Depends on your reliance on Dante and Skarm. Like I can easily see them hitting them both, both Skarm and Dante. Skarm has definitely, since Cern Graph have, went, got, have gotten hit, Skarm has definitely stepped it up as you know the go-to card with the the searching during the end phase. So I wouldn't be surprised if they just do like OCG, just put Skarm down to one, Dante down to one, and maybe maybe Sir down to one too, and then just have all of them at one. I would keep Graph at one. I said, it's, it's, it's Burning Abyss, it's time, it's time. Top tier for two years, two years? Like, in Duelist Alliance era has come and gone, but Burning Abyss are still top tier. Like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> we call monsters, we talk about monster graveyard. Some moves, tracks, and get it. Also, banish it during the end phase. Interesting. 
I just come here and grab another target with one card to control. I'm gonna come here and just shuffle that target to the back with you. Hmm, interesting. I'm a success faction negated, but you can at least do some fusion or synchro in place. <laughs> Synchron for XC. I don't think you're gonna be doing much synchroning. I don't know what they're saying to her. Oh. Okay. Uh, I didn't. I didn't wreck. This hand's actually pretty decent. Got you. I got you. I can get you. Think about maybe just throwing the twin switch at him. Yeah, that never hurts. Yeah. It's going off in the graveyard. What is going off in the graveyard? You? 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 Bear? What the hell is going off? Oh, the Fable guy. What does he do? And two cards. There are switch from the graveyard. Oh, no. <laughs> so I want you and I want you, because you guys are going to be with tension scale, so. Here's that. See, and that's the reason why you never just set two cards, because you already know that you're going to get Twin Twisted. I mean, at least it was trainable. Jar Green and Burger Stomach. Great. Not the biggest fan of this deck. Fable, Burger Stomach. Okay. Alright. So, painful decision. I get my Dragoons. Oh, I guess I'll be playing you and you, and then Pendulum summoning you. Put you in the Pendulum Scale, put you in the Pendulum Scale, Pendulum Summon, I Cannon. Like, I'm already not a big fan of the deck, it's kind of stally blocky with his trap cards, but then, of course, Treat Toad, like, you already know. <laughs> yep, so thank you for summoning a monster that I can kill. Yeah, Tree Toad is annoying. Real annoying. Uh. I got a couple of dragons. It's hard to say. Uh, it's a very, very powerful mo monster and it's annoying. But I wouldn't say broken because it's not flexible or top tier enough to be broken. Like, if frogs become like top tier, then yeah, he you could definitely be one of the cards that you look at. But saying that he's broken is like saying that like, like Harold or something is annoying uh, or broken. He's he's too he's too theme specific. Yeah, you can summon him around stricken Bahamut shark. Like all right, <laughs> like that deck just summon multiple Bahamut sharks, multiple tree toads. Like he could tribute himself, get that back. Yep, I guess go ahead and cast that Regeki. That's fine. I can pendulum summon that right back. Like. You can have that, then even I'm mad at. Oh my god. Fucking Cosmos and Tag. Alright, people, let's go. <laughs> Cosmos and Tag. Rip. Maybe even Carter Demise Cosmos, too. Sure. <laughs> Maybe we might be okay. Right, we got that strike, so that's nice. Wow, summon Honest and Poke. That's with it. What? <laughs> All right. All right. Sure. No, that's fine. You can have the honest back. That's not even worth striking. Wow. You know what the sad thing is? Is that unless that other guy, which I don't think he's playing it, because it looks like Brubastone and Fables, I can I can get rid of this Cosmo Town, and it won't be the same deck. As the Cosmo guy, if I can get rid of it, if I can get rid of it through like popping or something like that. Yeah, I can pop it through this. I can pop it through this guy in cannons if I inflict uh, damage to him. <laughs> so that, that's pretty good. Sky Dragoons of Draconia, definitely a great addition to the deck that wasn't there last time when Pungeons was here on daily duels. I mean, I like its effect. Flick damage to you, pop one of your cards. <laughs> So these two are like your ideal pendulum scales. Another Dante? <laughs> you never have enough Dante. Yep. 
See, enjoy that. Enjoy that, Alexis. Multiple Dantes, because watch him get hit to one. <laughs> Some people even think that Dante should be banned. <laughs> Doesn't terrible, though. Got your Rhino, got your Malicious, got your... I mean, you know what you're foolish, but... I don't know what you're gonna foolish anyway. Probably, maybe, uh... Maybe Wings? Wing plus Bear plus that, uh... <gasps> plus that, uh... What am I trying to say? It's freaking... Toy Vendor. That's the, that's the name of the card. I was like, I kind of forgot the name of the card. <laughs> Put away my pendulum scale. Thanks. Thanks for that. Now, you know I only have a Jacob and Ticonia. That misclick though. Alright, oh, that sucks. Now I'm top backing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I really need that card. If it was the other monster, I might have been okay. I still wouldn't want that to happen. Like, how come you... So it's like, wait, so you shuffle my cards away and you get to draw? Like, mm. <laughs> Beatrice? Yep. <laughs> Fuck. Now if I don't draw Pendulum Scale 7, I'm fucked. <laughs> I mean, I still got my Dragoons of Draconia. God damn it, I really want that guy. He could've got some direct damage in, he could've popped that Cosmo Town. Girl. <laughs> I would pop Cosmotown because the way that the decks were set up during my turn, it would still be the deck of the guy who's using uh, Burgerstoma. So I could pop the Cosmotown and the, and the Cosmo guy, his deck wouldn't be in play so he wouldn't get the search. Yeah. <laughs> Cause getting rid of that Cosmotown properly is always nice. <laughs> You already know, Cosmo Town's two helmet. <laughs> Don't film it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. Like Beatrice, go ahead and send the toy vendor to the search. And I guess next turn you can use Beatrice to go ahead and send wings, and then you'll have wings and bear, and then go ahead and draw up. Maybe draw into my monster that she sent. You only have 18 cards left. <laughs> <laughs> Did the Burka Stoma guy do anything? I don't think so. No, because the Cosmo guy, then you, then the Burka Stoma guy. Then me. Alright. The deck's still named Burka Stoma? I thought could have sworn they changed the deck's name, but I guess not. Ah, Cheater Leaf. Ah, Cheater Leaf. I knew it. I need it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheater leaf. Ah, ah, you gotta cheat. Gotta cheat fast. <laughs> I knew it. I called that shit. I was like, what? So what? Because we're going 16,000, we're gonna use cheater leaf. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? No, no. Wait, wait until something threatens. Wait until something threatens. He has plenty of cards in the team, so he could probably just play another one. And discard his hand, do a hell of his plays, maybe try to bust out a Quasar, and then we can just strike him, so. If anything, and you really need to, you can just use Beatrice and then send Farfa and then spot banish. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. But no, I'll send in the wings because I might be able to get back into this duel if I use your wings and stuff like that. I won't be able to get to search out the toy vendor though. Okay. Well, last card in your hand. Probably something. See, now he can go into that, and it's like if you have one other card or less, he can draw and you can strike that. So. <laughs> Like, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. well, 
Ryan's still in his place. He's not done touching himself yet. At least he can't go into what's his name anymore. I'm going to something else though. He can go into a six, he can go into an eight. Like, this is a tuner. I don't believe he's locked down to only Fable Monsters. M6, yeah, charge. Draw a card. Yeah, I might I might use your wings and stuff like that. Depends on what I draw, because I really need to draw into a pendulum scale. I even use Dante effect depending. <laughs> Just to get him strong enough to attack over the monsters. Oh wow. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna hold off on that play for right now. Because I just happen to draw and take exactly what I need, so we're good. Oh, it's fine. Cause <laughs> Cause guess what I do? Ah <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> what a great draw. Alright, so as long as I don't run into freaking strike, I should be okay. You know what? Is there any reason to put on coming to you? I don't think so. No, I'm gonna take a slot. So I'm just gonna summon you. If I get hit with strike, I can still normally summon you when they get to search. No reason to overextend pendulum summon you and you get hit with something. So Dante, you go to attack and then just everybody attack. And I'll pop one of the set cards. I'll probably set this one, because this one seems like a bluff. Oh no, I'll pop the Cosmo Town again. I said I won't pop the Cosmo Town. Yep, yeah, watch it be Mirror Force. I should be mirror force, so you attack you. Oh. Phoenix and Moon Rust. Yep. Purpose Dome of Fable, touch yourself. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so. Never mind, I let you attack you. I thought it was gonna be a bluff. No, it wasn't. Alright, so when do you go up a normal monster? After damage calculation. Do you really think we should kill the trap? I think we should kill the Cosmo Town. Hold on. Yep. So, activate this, activate that. Cos Wait, yeah, off the Cosmic Helm. And you go ahead and search me for another pendant scale that is upper. Because I still have the lower in my hand. But even if you crack my scales, I'm still good. It's done, and then kill. The monster has 1200 tractor artifacts? Yeah, 1200 tractor artifacts. Okay, go ahead and kill. Dark Stomach should be banished. So that's nice. The Cosmo guy doesn't have his Cosmo Town, he doesn't have his helmet, so. He didn't draw anything too great, which I don't think he did, because he really didn't do anything last turn after he did his Cosmo Town. Oh yeah, he summoned Domus, that's right. So, not too great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off on the wings and stuff. I have my plays, you have your plays, so. Resources. Ah, uh, getting rid of that Cosmo Town without that search? Ah, balanced. <laughs> like, if Cosmotown didn't search, like, you'd be popping it all the time. Like, you'd probably just be saving your Twin Twisters and MSCs just to pop, get rid of Cosmotown. So, what you gonna do, Mr. Cosmo Guy? That's light. Yeah, that's light. If you want to, you can attack with the Fable Nozochi and then play Honest. That's what you wanna do. They still go back to Pendulum Zone and this, I mean. Even if you did honest and attack this, he wouldn't be able to get over that booty. <laughs> yep. You see, he just summoned Donis and attack. His plays are so antagonistic. Dante is the best hubby, you know. He needs to go away. Freaking Dante is always the center of attention. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's a good and bad attention. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Cosmo guy, what you got? Uh, it's a damn shame you can't just use that Cosmo time to keep mulliganing your hand until you get a decent hand. Like, nope, nope, get rid of it. <laughs> like all, all, all of Cosmo Town. Like Cosmo Town should probably be limited to one. If Konami was smart and they ever did uh, Cosmo hits, 
I would totally be fine if Cosmo Town went to one and then maybe like, well, of course, Emergency Teleport to one and maybe like Tin Can to like one or two. I'd be fine with that. I don't really mind Dr. Shire. Like, he's, he's kind of like the big boss monster of the deck. Everybody says Dr. Shire. I don't really mind him. I just don't like the consistency of Tin Can sending him to the graveyard and call the Haunted and Oasis. Even if you got hit down to one, you could still do shenanigans with him and call the Haunted and Oasis. Yeah, yeah. But it's just like, oh, Tin Can, Card Demise, and my freaking uh, Field Spell. Like, Card Demise plus Cosmo Talon plus <laughs> Tin Can equals just rip. Seriously, like, did you just rage a AFK? Like, <laughs> like, dude, you're playing top tier shit. You're playing Cosmos, man. Like, you'd be beating our ass. I mean, I am playing the pendulum mechanic, and, and she is playing something BA related. But I mean, come on, like, it's BA fluffle deck deck. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the random deck with Cosmos. <laughs> He's like, oh, what? He, they popped my Cosmo Town and I didn't get my search. No. <laughs> like, that's what you get for tagging. And this other guy, he's cheating leaf. Like, I, I mean, I don't feel sorry for neither one of you. Neither one of you. <laughs> wow. Seriously, we haven't even finished one of these tags. Like, rip. Both of them, both get duels tagged out. And it's the sad thing is, I actually have to go. I actually have to call this video. I mean, it's 26 minutes, so it's not short, but... Uh, we probably could have gotten another, I forgot another one, I could have waited until like 40 minutes. Anyway, I actually gotta go. I apologize, people. I apologize the like this, but it was still good. It was good. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I will see you guys tomorrow. We will be playing uh, Dark Lords. Trying it out more of a uh, uh, Lithium version, because it was kind of <laughs> ironic. I was like, oh yeah, I did uh, Dark Lords. And then Lithium uploads the video. It's like, rip. And they get their new cards. So we're going to be playing new cards. Trying it more the draw Lithium version. Hopefully that goes well. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for support. And yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Uh, thank you for joining me, Alexis. Link to her channel in the description. She's been, she's been doing a lot, a lot of streams. So if you guys can go and head over to her stream and support her, I'd be very appreciative. Okay, now I'm in the video. Thanks for watching.